Texas. I'm very inspired with all these beautiful gowns. Ladies and gentlemen, now that we have seen all the gowns of our top 10 contestants, let's win all of our girls. Every single day, 
during their activities, during their travels, and it's not all about the look tonight. It's very important the character, the personality, the attitude. Because to be a Miss Tourism is not just a pretty face, it's a person who became tonight an ambassador of tourism. To promote tourism, to promote Equatorial Guinea around the world because her, her episode of her life will start tonight with the best memories of Equatorial Guinea. And they will have some very good memories as well. And before I go, the last time I asked a judge this question, they said no. Are you able to tell us who's your favorite? I won't tell anybody. No. We're not going to do that. Okay. Let's just wait a minute. I to break it. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. Oh, I feel so nervous right now for the ladies. It's as if it's me that is in this competition here. Ladies, I want to tell you, you all look stunning. Ladies, you all look gorgeous. Right? They're all looking gorgeous. So, in, in, in my eyes and everybody else's eyes, you are all winners. Which is why I'm so proud to announce that we have got two more awards and our next award is for the lady with the best evening gown. And this lady is Dominican Republic! Now, this next award is very, very interesting. Thank you, Dominican Republic. The next award is very interesting since it is decided by our very own local press here in Equatorial Guinea. Now, they've been involved with the ladies every step of the way. So, the press award goes to... Mexico! say Mexico, some say Mexico, but it is the same lady. Congratulations! Thank you, ladies. You're all looking beautiful. Next up, we will have the top five announcements and also the question part of the contest. We'll be right back after this commercial break. <laughs> 